Hello kids, I have another Easter story and this one is called Pete the Cat, Big Easter Adventure by Kimberly and Jason D. Or, J or James Dean, I'm sorry. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favorite. Uh-oh, his basket was empty except for a note. Pete, please help. Find the eggs, paint the eggs, hide the eggs. Thanks, the Easter Bunny. P.S. Wear these. So he left him some Easter Bunny ears that he wants him to wear. Pete put on the bunny ears and thought, a cat with ears like a bunny? Now that's funny. <laughs> Happy Easter, chickens! Do you have any eggs today? Pete asked. I am helping the Easter Bunny. Sure, Pete, we have lots of eggs, the chicken said. We are happy to help, but don't you need a bunny nose and fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and a tail would be neat. Then Pete's costume would be complete. So, as you see, he made a little tail out of cotton balls, and then he made himself a nose. Pete put on the nose and tail like a bunny's. A cat dressed up like a bunny, now that is funny. Now Pete was ready. It was getting late, and he still had lot, a lot of eggs to decorate. What colors would Pete use? Hop, hop, hop up to the tool shed for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one color, some eggs had two. Some eggs were red and some eggs were blue. When the egg painting was done, Pete had a basket full of bright, colorful, amazing eggs. Now hiding them would be lots of fun. But where? Oh, where would Pete hide the eggs? Around the neighborhood for all of his friends to find? That's a good idea. So Pete hid the eggs in the flower pots. He hid them in the water spout. And when he was done hiding the eggs, Pete the cat was all worn out. Helping others out is what Easter is all about, Pete said. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one when the Easter Bunny arrived. Oh, that's so neat. Great job, Pete. You were a big help, said the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny gave Pete an award for good job well done. And that is the end of the story. I hope that you enjoyed that story. And if you really loved it, Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your sister, brother, auntie, whoever's with you. And like the video, comment under it that you love the story, and you might actually win a storybook. So remember to do that, and have a good sleep. Good night, everyone. Love, Nana. Oh, and hello, Lily. Go to sleepy. I love you. Love, Nana.